I got to know him by having him help me bounce ideas off of and like especially the curatorial aspect of my first show so he was really helpful in just like selecting images and like building a body of work because it is really difficult as a photographer to know what is really strong enough to be seen and what's gonna like benefit from the gallery setup but um, he's not just a professor or a teacher but he's also an artist and like someone who's just got more experience to impart to me as a student and um, especially in the more practical aspects like I mentioned in terms of like selecting and curating and pr how you present yourself to the art world really. Well this is um, work from an exhibit that's going to be here at the Cezanne Gallery. It's um, two re certainly related projects that I've actually been working on for the last since 1994. Um, the in December of 2010, I went to Cuba for the first time, and Cuba had been on my kind of list of some place of wanting to go, just because it has a number of factors that I'm really interested in, not the least of which it's um, uh, sort of a uh, place that's kind of has a very unique history, obviously, and has been sort of on some level isolated from the world, has architecture that's frozen in time, and um, Last year, a couple years ago, um, someone who had been there said, you better hurry up and come because Castro had stepped down. And I, 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 my vow was I wanted to get there before McDonald's did. So, uh, so originally I thought, well, I'll have to you know, go to Cancun and sneak in. And it turns out UC has had a license to do research there for 30 years. So I hooked up with the UC Cuba um, uh, academic initiative. Um, there's a number of scholars all over the system and uh, hooked up with a, um, tr a travel agency that specializes in travel to Cuba and, and basically was able to take a charter from Miami. It was, it was a piece of cake. It was very easy. It was the people that really attracted me, that they were um, incredibly universally beautiful. They were sort of a, they reflected the kind of cultural and racial history of Cuba and with all kinds of more delineations than are here. And uh, what I found was in some level they were frozen in time and in some level they were, especially the young people, were sort of more aware of what was going on in the world than um, their contemporaries here. I went back in July of 2011 because in Santiago on the eastern side they have a carnival that has a direct connection to New Orleans in that many of the uh, after, the Cuba, after the Haitian Revolution, a number of Haitians were exiled and went to Santiago. And then they were exiled from Cuba and they settled in French-speaking Louisiana. The book is called New Orleans Suite and it's co-written by my colleague Eric Porter who is a, a professor in American Studies and History of Consciousness here. Um, uh, it's funny, we both started teaching at Santa Cruz the same year in 2001. And when I started teaching at Santa Cruz, I actually um, did a lecture at LSU in Baton Rouge. And for some reason, I got to, you know, kind of uh, on somebody else's dime, I was able to go there two or three times a year, probably from about nine, from 94 till about 90 to 2005. And then I got an artist in residency at the Ogden Museum of Southern Art, which is in New Orleans, and it was in for, for the fall of 2005. And in fact, um, I was supposed to go there in August, and New Orleans is murder in August, but um, it was delayed because of, of another book. And I, uh, uh, then Hurricane Katrina hit, and you know, you couldn't get in. And New Orleans Suite is really about kind of New Orleans both before and after the, the storm. The storm being kind of a frame of reference. It's not really about Katrina, but um, we were both, uh, uh, Eric's, People are from not from Louisiana, from Louisiana, but not from New Orleans, and um, so we both had a kind of mutual interest, and we were interested in the fact that, well, like when I arrived six weeks after the storm, literally, probably only about ten percent of the population was still there. I mean, eventually, I think about half the people came back. 
We invited Lewis Watts to show his work because um, I've seen his work on New Orleans um, over the past, you know, 10 years um, and really been interested in it. We've, we've shown it in faculty group shows and then he told me he has a book coming out. So I said, Lou, we, we need to have a show of your work. So here, um, here it is. Um, this is New Orleans Suite and then uh, his book will come out at the end of, um, or in 2013 and that's with Eric Porter. We're going to do a second line procession from the gallery all the way over to the Digital Arts New Media Building, which is um, across the ravine, you know, and because and, Lewis wanted a bigger venue, a big screen that we could project some of his images and talk more in depth about this project. Candela, eh, se quema y no cuesta nada. Candela, eh. 